Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this week, Dick and I are out canoe camping on the Manistee River in November. Why would we come out in a river in winter? Into the slow, cold creeks and bayous on the Manistee? We're here for opening day of Michigan firearm season to chase the elusive Michigan white-tailed deer and hopefully try and get Dick into his first deer ever, all on public land. We canoed all of our gear in the day before to get camp set up, including our new Lux hiking teepee and wood stove. Then we set up our ground blind on a ridge a couple miles from camp and prepared some mock rubs and scrapes to lure deer in just in case the weather turned and we didn't get a chance to hunt from our canoes on the river itself. Then we set some trail cams and turned in for the night. Trying to get some sleep before the excitement of opening morning of Michigan firearm deer season. Dick tip. When you get to land, remember to flip your canoe to prevent snow and ice buildup. It sucks. And it's a good thing we prepared for bad weather too, because it certainly found us. Even with freezing temperatures, it managed to rain and rain and rain well into opening morning. Eventually though, with a break in the weather, we were able to get out and prepare our gear cameras and guns for the hike into our pop-up blind on the ridge. After touching up all of our scrapes and rubs, Dick and I start the hike up the ridge and crawl into our mostly dry, mostly warm blind with the heater and wind roaring around us for a long day sitting, preparing for when we do see a deer. set up, I'm gonna come up to your height and then try and film it before you shoot. Is the shooting stick at a good height for you? It can be a little lower. Dick tip, make sure to use lots of scent block around camp and when hiking out, make sure to use lots of buck piss to cover your scent. With weather like this, it's no wonder we didn't see anything moving on opening day. And on the second day, it begins pretty much the same. Just trying to wait out the freezing rain and weather before breakfast. But this time it's even colder. And we have to put on our snowshoots and bibs before heading up to the blind for the day. Once at the top of the ridge, we respray our scrapes and take a minute to call out to the hillside and wait for a response. We don't get anything. We've got to get in, crack the heater up, and start calling into the woods again with grunts rattling around a bit.
And before long, a few interested parties managed to show their heads. With antler point restrictions in effect, we have to be careful about what we shoot. Does are better than small bucks, but any small deer really get a pass just in case. And everything we saw on the second day received that pass to live on and grow. And even then, the wind and weather found us again. Dick tip, make sure to lift your toilet seat up to prevent ice and snow buildup. But even as the snow picks up and darkness forces us down for the night, we're hopeful for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the day. Because now we know those deer are out there and they're moving. And that's going to be it for this week, folks. Please remember, if you liked it, or even if you didn't, give it the thumbs up and click subscribe down there somewhere. Then ring that bell so you'll get a notification next week when Dick and I go out and fill Dick's rite of passage as he harvests his first Michigan white-tailed deer. Also, if you could leave a comment down there and let us know what your favorite Dick tip is from any season, just word for word what the Dick tip was, and it will give you a chance to win this hat from our merch store, Killing Deers and Drinking Beers. I'll leave more, you know, more in the video description. You know, just comment your favorite dick tip. You'll get entered to win that hat and we'll ship it to you. Just because we appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's it for this week. It's been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>